firing line while Scotty offers an olive branch in Shortland Street. What seems to be the problem? Uh, how's your salmon? He seems to be in quite a lot of pain. Maxwell, what did I do wrong? You'll work it out when the entire Samoan community starts showing up. We are not the Samoan drop-in centre. Just book her into the PCC. I have known that woman for all of my life. Right, so when she has a go at you about the rude little palingy nurse, whose side are you going to be on? That's easy. She hasn't shamed me the way you just did. your cousin so you didn't get into any more trouble yeah well then why did you let them come in here i told you he had some of my gear so why didn't you meet him somewhere else you said he tried rolling somebody else's house what's to stop him from rolling this place he wouldn't do that you don't know that anymore over there let me guess it's not what it looks like Your gear, huh? I'm just holding it for magic until the cops take the heat off his place. Well, you can't keep it here. It's just for the night. If TK finds he out... He won't. That's right. Because you are going to get rid of it right now. I'll take it back tomorrow, sweet. Or I'll cop it for magic. That'll be nasty. Bro, please. OK. But it's out of here first thing tomorrow. Got it? Tracy, wait. Just... Can I get past the place? Look, here's the thing, all right? All that Samoan invasion stuff, I was sort of joking. Thanks for letting me in on the joke. <laughs> it's, it's just that woman, all right? It's also Fina. In terms of community, she's sort of like, I don't know, Helen Clark. So, in other words, I just told Helen Clark to buzz off. Great. Which, which is why I got all authentic on you. And went off at me in front of everyone. Well, I had to. No, you didn't. Babe, you dissed her. All right? Some people, you just don't diss, and she was one of them. And how was I supposed to know that? Look. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll look back at this and laugh, OK? I promise, one day. You might. I, on the other hand, feel like a complete idiot. I thought I was doing you a favour after all of your talk about the entire Samoan community descending on you. Then you go and bite my head off. I know, I know, and I'm sorry, OK? To, to tell you the truth, see, I'm still adjusting to being back here. Back in Hong Kong, it was simple. Oh, just plain old Maxwell, right? Just be myself dealing with my patients. But now, as you can see, I'm having to deal with the community again, which means having to deal with Vasa one way or the other and Ola. It just so happens that you're the only one that knows she's not my daughter. Why didn't you tell me any of this before? <laughs> you, a little Balangi girl from Christchurch, you wouldn't understand. Well, that's just the thing, Maxwell. You never gave me the chance to. And if you're not willing to trust me, then we don't really stand much of a chance, do we? Mum said to you it had nothing to do with me. Actually, I'm here for a meeting with Callum. Oh. To discuss my return to the surgical team. With Gabrielle? That's right. Right. Well, I'll show you through. It's all right. I know the way. Where are you going? I'm just heading out for some fresh air. JJ's daycare's closed because of a, an electrical oh, fault and I can't find a babysitter anywhere. Do you want me to find one for you? Can you look after him? I'm working. Oh, you just said you were heading out for some fresh air. Yeah, for five minutes. Oh, this is an emergency. Well, to take the day off. I can't. It's such short notice. Besides, we're already stretched as it is. Please, Libby, I'm going to be late to start my shift. What about Mum? I can't get hold of her. Tanya? She's working already. Please, Lib, just this once and we'll only be till I can work something else out. All right, then. Oh, thank you. Oh, I will be back as soon as I get a break, I promise. Hey. Yeah. Hi. 
you get it sorted? Yeah, I just dropped the bag off at Magic's. Sweet. But if you really want to keep your nose clean, the next time your cousin asks you for a favour, say no. Hey, uh, did you see the flies about the Fight Night tournament? Yeah, what is it? Local boys going head to head in the ring to see who's top top. Well, we should go. 35 bucks a ticket? Hell no. We can strike together. For the tournament? Yeah. Now shout. For real? Consider it an educational trip. Shut TK. Providing you both prove yourselves by training hard. You got it. And staying off the pot. No problem. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. Yes, by nine and a half minutes. Oh, you see, the thing is, JJ, this is yeah. unacceptable, no matter the reason. And a very poor example for your nurses. It won't happen again. Statistically, that's highly doubtful. Now, Mr. Leafy has had a spinal tumor excised. He needs a repeat MRI and his dressing changed. Okay. And I'll need you to supervise. Me? Well, I don't need to tell you. It'll be a lengthy and potentially painful procedure, but you'll need to explain that to the rest of the nursing staff. Uh, well, there's something I need to talk to you about first. Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Uh, it's about JJ. I... Maya, you've already made me late for my next appointment. We'll have to discuss it later. Mm, I need a favour, a really big one. What is it? JJ's daycare's fallen through, and I've left him upstairs with Libby. I thought that I could take him off her hands later, but now Gabrielle's got me tied up with a post-op patient. Well, why didn't you explain the situation to Gabrielle? She didn't give me a chance. Anyway, she wouldn't understand. She hasn't got kids. I know that it's really short notice, but... Don't stress about it. I'll find someone on light duties and ask them to take JJ off Libby's hands until you can figure something out. Really? Really? Scotty, thank you so much. Don't look so surprised. Well, it's just... What? Nothing. Uh, I owe you one. <laughs> Just try not to let this happen again, OK? I won't. Nice work, Dad. Mind two pack, light on your feet, remember? Protect yourself. Protect yourself. All right, boys. Woo. Break. <laughs> I can hardly breathe. You should spend more time taking up than you do on the bags. You may as well hit the showers. <sighs> I'm still good to go. Sweet. Guess I'll show you how it's done then. You <laughs> should try. <laughs> what all you got? No. Let's go for it then. Yeah. It's time then hold back. Come on, come on. Come on. There you go, there you go. Looks like the student's given the master a good run for his money, then. I reckon you should enter this one into the tournament. Yeah, maybe next year when he's ready. Looks ready if you ask me. I didn't, though, did I? Mm. Who's that guy? <coughs> Terry Rayner. Likes to think he's king of the boxing coaches around here. Big up to you, Dad. So every day's that complimentary. I don't actually need to see Dr. Avia. I can take a look at your knee for you, Mrs. Sasulu. Oh, no, thank you. I'll wait for Dr. Avia. I know his parents very well. You and the rest of triage. Oh, what was that, dear? Nothing, I said. He is Dr. Avia. All yours. Max or Marlo. Marlo. Hold on a second, Martina. Hey, about last night. Which part? The part where you bit my head off about Samoa's answer to Helen Clark, or the part where you told me I wouldn't understand because I was just a poor little palangy girl from Christchurch? <laughs> OK, maybe I overreacted a little. Yeah, and maybe the war on terror wasn't such a good idea. <sighs> Tracy. I wouldn't keep you patient waiting because it's about another 600 after her. Hear me out. Why should I? <laughs> Look, in my culture, we see our differences with food. You know, let's say we go to dinner at a top restaurant. Go on. You know you want to. Sorry, I've lost my appetite, and that's not just for food. So what are you going to do, Rocky? Are you going to enter the tournament or what? It would be a no. Why not? Because you're not ready. You saw your hip. Daniel, you've only been at this a few weeks. Now, you may be naturally gifted, but you don't have the fitness or the experience to last a full fight. Uh, uh, anyway. I'm fit as. No, you just think you are. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. No, I want to go for it. Well, tough. 
Besides, your mum's not here, and even if she was, the Dutch would say yes. Oh, man, this sucks. <laughs> well, what about the upstream of Serena? You, you said you didn't give that up very often. You want to know the truth? That was his way of having to go to me. Well, how do you figure that? Well, he'll have a few boys in the tournament, and there's nothing he'd like better than to see one of my boys getting smashed up by one of his lot. So why doesn't he like you? Chip on his shoulder about Ye Long, about proving he's the best boxing trainer in Ferndale. Or well, maybe he is. Maybe I should be training with him. You'll suit yourself. But whatever you do is still gonna make you ready for that tournament. All right, we'll put you in a bandage for a week and you should be right as rain. You'll be able to see us somewhere in no time. Hey, lover Maxwell, you're always such a good boy. You're so kind and helpful. Uh, is there anything else I can do for you? Well, I don't want to bother you, but do you remember my sister Opu? She's waiting out there to come in too, but do you think you can sneak her in next? See, she's supposed to drive me home and then we get ready for the bingo and then we get cooking for you. Well, maybe we should postpone my lunch. No, you just be there. Hey, can you do me a favor, please? Can you grab um, Opu Sasuda from Triage? I'm busy. Look, if you've got a personal beef with me, fine. But don't drag it into the workplace. It is rich coming from you. Come on. I'm actually tied up. Sorry, you'll have to find someone else. Um, I'll try and see your sister as soon as possible. Oh, sorry. Is that your new teeny? Tracy works here. Tell her right. Yeah, she's so skinny. You know what you need to do? You need to give her some dal and some suey and fatten her up. Well, or... Sorry, bro, but TK's right. You wouldn't make it past the first round. Have you even seen those dudes on the fly? They're mean ass. Way fitter. Well, they don't scare me. It's Tupac here. Hey, boys. Listen, uh, now's not such a good time. You should come back later. Hey, look, for the weed. For the what? 25, right? <sighs> Sorry, he's all up. Hey, make sure you tell all your mates that. That bag of dope's still here, isn't it? You didn't go around to Magic's this morning, did you? You see the cops? They're still snooping around his place. See, you thought you might as well do some business in the meantime. You lied to me. I'm sorry. Yeah, me too. Fever trusting you in the first place. Where is it? Over there. Okay, either you get that out of here, or you can get out of here. What's it gonna be? And see this? See this? Oh, look at this. This is the sun, yeah. And it's the sun's smiley face. Oh, good boy, JJ, that's awesome. Hey. Come and see what JJ's drawn. Oh, it's a, it's a lovely big squiggle, good boy. It's the sun, isn't it, JJ? Well, he's a right little junior Picasso. Mm. Lucky Maya that she's getting to see him grow up. We could have had this, couldn't we? You keep up the good work, JJ. Carol, wait. Oh. You all right? Yeah, that's just Gerald. He just... Oh. I'm on a break now. I can take it from here. Are you sure? Yeah. Thank you, Scotty. Um, Maya shouldn't be oh. too far away. Yeah. Hey, you beautiful boy. <laughs> hey, well, that is a great picture. Oh. What are you going to draw next? Miss Morgan. Mm. I just told her to have yeah. a break. Oh, that was good of you, thanks. Okay, we're gonna pack everything up, because guess what, JJ? Nana's gonna look after you for the afternoon. You managed to get a hold of her, Bob. Oh, finally, Mum to the rescue. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Good old family, eh? Yeah, I reckon I would be lost without them. Say bye-bye. 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 Bye, JJ. <laughs> No, look, the zip's puckery. Wait. Okay, try this. Is that it? Yep. Okay. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah, just get it out of here. Sweet. Later. If you wouldn't mind giving this to Metzor when you see him. Only if it contains anthrax or explosives. What? I think it's probably safer if you give it to him yourself. Okay. Tracy. Mrs. Sassoulu. You must come. 
Excuse me? Oh, it's very important. I've actually finished work for the day, so you'll have to get somebody else to help you. Oh, it's an emergency. You need to come now. If I'm with Molly. Oh, what's the problem? Oh, you come, you'll see. If I'm with Molly, Tracy. Oh, okay, then. This way, quick. What's this emergency? Oh, you'll see with your own eyes. Okay. <laughs> this is the big emergency? What? Did you run out of chicken? Yeah, oh, Tracy. Tanya Maxwell. Oh, turn off for Tracy. My Lord, so what? It's very short notice, but we have some pisupo, some sapasui, some fai, some taro, some more. Uh, uh, sorry, what? Oh, hi. Um, what's short notice? I, uh, I don't really get it. You brought me here for this? Why? Uh, because I asked them to. Did you organise all of this for me? Yeah. Eh, tell the truth. <laughs> It's for our Maxwell, for his big job here. But you're the very special guest of honour. Oh, the guest of honour. I told you, feasting allows us to help sort out our problems. It's very last minute, but this is my way of saying sorry. Look, I know things have been a bit bumpy in the last day or so, but I care for you. I really do. Even if it doesn't seem like it when I'm biting off your head, my world can take a bit of navigating. You can say that again. And I guess I haven't really let you into my world, not properly anyway. So, this is my way of officially saying, I feel my Tracy. Welcome to my world. Yeah, talo for Tracy. Yeah, say fa pa ye mo mo me ai. Umanto fa fita ye su lo wanga lelei me ai wo e fo e tau sia yo manto tino. Mum had one of his DVDs on when we got there, and the scones were just about ready to come out of the oven. In other words, JJ didn't even notice when I left. Great. Thanks again for being so understanding today, Scotty. I really appreciate it. Being a single mum can be tricky sometimes. I've seen it with my sister and her kids. How are they? I'm not so sure, to be honest. We're not really talking at the moment. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. No, oh, it's, it's my fault. I sort of pushed her away. I'm sure you'll sort something out. I'm not too sure about that. Oh, we're both as stubborn as each other. Mm, been there, done that. Take it from me, all it takes is for one of you to make the first move. That simple, huh? Yeah, all that hard. Can't take your call. Leave a message. Hey, it's me. Look, I know things have been a bit rough between us lately. And I know I might be the last person you want to hear from at the moment, but I just wanted to say... I don't know, Bex. All I do know is that I don't want us to be like this. I want us to stay in touch. I want to know you're all right. Because at the end of the day, we're family. Right? Anyway, I hope you and the kids are okay. Say hi to them from Uncle Jamie. And if you need me to look after them at any time, just give us a buzz. I mean that. I miss them. And you. Okay? That's it. Speak to you soon, hopefully. See ya. Anyone home? Hey. Hey, where's Tupac? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm going to make some sammies. Yeah, I'm starving. Must be all that training. Yep, you got to feed that machine. Are you sure I can't enter that tournament? Yes, I'm sure, and I'm also sure that I asked you to clear these away this morning. Daniel. Yeah, oh, we're coming. Let's see, tomatoes, cheese. Always finish all that ham. What's that? Uh, it's nothing. Show me. I can explain. Where'd you get this? Is this yours? 
No, it's mine. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I already thought you'd learned your lesson after boot camp, but it looks like I was wrong. Well, you can forget about going to the boxing tournament and no more training for a week. What? Plus, you're grounded. But that's not fair. Well, you should have thought of that before you bought this, huh? Well done. Have you had enough, Tracy? I am so full, thank you. It's a shame the bottle sami hasn't arrived yet. Oh, honestly, I don't think I could eat another thing. I'm about to explode. I'm going to get you some dessert. What? Uh, you better save some room for Tafu's sisters, husbands, brothers, wives, nieces, uh, chocolate cake. <laughs> Sorry, Tafu's who? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. Oh, you sure? Trust me. We'll see about that. So, this welcome to my world, does it include a trip to Samoa? Baby steps. All right, then. What about Mr. and Mrs. Avia? When do I get to meet Mum and Dad? Mm. Here's a chocolate cake. It's my sister's husband's brother's wife's nieces. It's so <laughs> wonderful. Honestly, I don't think I could fit another thing in. Oh, look, just one mouthful. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, that actually is really good. Do you mind if I take this, please? <laughs> Oi, Dano Fai, here's the bottle Sami. What is more food? Uh, welcome to my world. Bottle Filetti. Hey, Filetti, isn't that the name of your uncle who was recently married? Oh, that's a different uncle Filetti. Eh, you know you've only got one uncle Filetti, and he's been married for years, and here he is. <laughs> good old uncle Filetti. No time to explain. Hey, no know. explanation necessary. Oh, Dano Fai. Marlo Maxwell. Oi. Long time no see, huh? Hey, my love, Uncle. Look at you, yeah. Mr. Doctor. Woman. Wait. Uh, I feel a little, uh, um, Uncle, this is my girlfriend, Tracy. Ah. Hello for Tracy. Would you like some bottle sample? Sure. Good man. We'll see you next week. You're Terry, right? What was the last time I looked? Oh, hey, I'm Daniel Potts. Oh, the young fellow from yesterday gave TK a good run for his money. What can I do you for? Um, I'm here about the tournament. How many tickets do you want, son? I don't want any tickets. Then what do you want? I'm here to enter. Clint Eastwood stars as a war veteran who sets out to transform his neighbour after he catches him stealing his beloved Gran Torino in our midweek movie tonight at 9.35.